there's a oil spillage. As you can see, there's a oil spillage on the ground. You can see. You can see the oil spillage on the ground. So with this, the oil seal is bad. So we need to replace it. So firstly, we lose the tank. We lose the tank and Time. As you can see, oh, you can see, you can see a hoist village here. You can see it's not supposed to be so. The hoist cell is leaking, so we need to replace it. So we'll lose this cover. These are the tools we use the turn wrench scissors, a 19 socket, screwdriver and a joint. So we need to do this with the tens, T10. We lose this cover. You can see we lose this cover. See? If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Yeah. We lose this cover. Down patch, you lose it also. Lose it all. So you lose it, you can see, you lose it, make sure you put the boots on the side, you see, you lose it. see, oh, this is 27, 21 knots, so we used to find a 21 socket, so, so lose this flywheel, you can see, sorry, this is 21 socket, you can see, 21 socket, so you put it inside, and you put a joint inside the socket put it there. and you, you put this you put this um screwdriver you hook it here find a way to lose it you better you tap it so it can be easy for you tap it see how easy it is wow so Lose this now, so remove the pulley, yeah. remove the, the, the fan, and we have to remove this flywheel. So, you, without using a pulley, a puller rather, you can use an hammer to remove this easily. You tap it by the side. You see how easy it is? And remove it. You can just remove it. You can just see. You can see. You can see on how it's pulling all over. You can see, so this oil seal is bad, so we need to replace it. So removing the oil seal, you make it with a screwdriver. It's easy. So put it at the edge here. Pass it, pass it. So you remove it easily. See, it's how easy it is. Mm -hmm. You see. So it's how easy it is. So we remove the old oil seal. So this the old oil seal is bad. Wash it, we'll wash the oil part out of it, we'll wash the dead away. Wash it. Make sure you make So clean it. Make sure the foil doesn't enter the bearing. So you have to be careful not to allow it to enter here. So some little seal we have to insert a new oil seal there now and into it so this is a new oil seal can you see a new oil seal for 21.5 you see so we insert it inside you can see inside, inside. make sure it's balanced and this is the whole oil seal you use the whole oil seal to, to heat it inside and you mix it with a pipe to make it e make it easier for you you can see this is a pipe to what to tap it inside. Make it an armor, tap it inside little by little. You can see it's entering. In order to not to spoil the old oyster, that's why we use the, the new oyster rather. That's why we use the old oyster to eat it inside. You can see. So let's remove this to see how far it goes. Oh, yeah. We need to tap this side. Tap this side. 
So your top is little by little, little by little. So let's check it out now. Remove the old one. Check it out. Oh, as you can see, it's not okay now. You see, it's balanced. So put by the, the flywheel inside. Put by the flywheel. So you can see this key. You have to set it with this. You can see. Put the fan, the fan back. You see, there's some hook there. So you just have to set it there. There's a hook here also. Set it here. And you have to tighten the boat back. Boat back. The boat. Tighten the back. And the notch rather, not the boat. Not. Back. So you tighten it. So to tie this thing strong. We have to hook it back at the downside. We have to hook it down downside, downside. So you hook it here, downside. Hook it. So I'll open it. Find a way to tighten it. You can see. Make sure it's tight, well firm. Tighten it. <clears throat> well, tighten now. So you move the hook. Driver, and you put the starter. If you find this video helpful, please kindly subscribe to our channel. Tighten it back. 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 And you want to clean up the upper side so the joint can be neat. Clean it. Clean it. So we are done cleaning. So that's how that's how to change an OEC for a 2.9 kV generator. So if you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to our channel. We love you.